I am back for our part two of putting and this lesson today is going to be about alignment and how important it is to get our, our bow lined up to the target and how we're going to do that really really efficiently. So the first thing I have is my awesome Callaway golf ball. Yes. And there's always a line, or this one has an arrow on it. So a lot of the golf balls these days have arrows on them. So I'm going to get my Sharpie pen out. I'm going to super duper make sure I know I can see it really, 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 really well. There's a new golf ball coming out, which I just ordered. It's called the Triple Track Golf Ball. And it's going to be a line like this. But there's also going to be another line here and another line there. And it's going to be navy blue and red and red. And this is going to help us line up way, way easier. I cannot wait to get mine. So the other thing I've done is I've got my yoga mat out again, of course. I've got my tennis ball as my target. And I just put a club behind it so my ball doesn't wiggle around. I've got my handy dandy stake out because I'm going to draw a straight line. So I've got my chalk that I've used before for chipping, right, on the ground. And I'm going to make a nice solid straight line and this is how I'm going to practice my alignment. So last time we talked about rhythm so I hope you guys have been doing that with your 72 beats per minute. If you're a little faster or slower than that that's fine but you don't want to get any more than two or three beats per minute outside that because everyone has a little different rhythm people move faster or slower but that's kind of the average number. I'm going to line up my target all right, so when we line up, and you guys are gonna do this when you're golfing this week, okay? You're gonna get your line on your ball, and you're gonna line it up down your target line, and you have to approach it from behind, like this. Okay, you're not gonna go like this and try and line that up. You have to get like directly behind it in order to see it. And now I need to find the sweet spot of my putter. So here's our putter, and there's always a sweet spot, right? So mine is this line here. You will all have a sweet spot on your putter. And how you check it is if you hold the putter here, and if you tap the toe of your putter, see how this putter's twisting? It's twisting open. If I tap the heel, it's twisting closed. So it's actually going like that and closing. If I tap the uh, toe, it's opening. So if you want to tap the sweet spot, you'll notice that the club goes straight back. So it's kind of cool to, to see that. It's kind of hard to see that here. All right, so I'm gonna get my sweet spot down that line, but what are we gonna do first? Right, we're gonna take our two practice strokes with great rhythm, which I will put on again just to integrate two lessons in one. Holy moly, we are so advanced here. Ready? All right, I am ready for this. So, get set up, look at my target, eyes back to the ball, and then rhythmically, Yes, right down my line and hit the target. Sweet. So practice that obviously as much as you can, but go in your garage. Remember we're gonna do like a minute of training with the metronome. Just going back and forth to feel it. And then you can do like 10 putts. That's about five feet, I would say. So you get that set up. You're gonna be so confident when you get out to the greens. You're not gonna smash the ball anymore. You're gonna have this beautiful rhythmic stroke. And because you lined up your line down your target line and you squared up your club face to the target line and your ball, you're gonna make so many pots, it's gonna be amazing. So have fun with that. Uh, that'll be my four tips for this week. And um, I'll see you next week. So I'm gonna post these like every couple days and uh, yeah, see how that goes for you. Good luck.